All right, all right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, or Harakah Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. It's the brother Yahweh coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video is edifying, comfort, and exhorting to you, brothers, whereas you few sisters that listen and learning. All right. The year 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass, and we pray and hope that all prophecy be fulfilled in the time which we in. All right. Especially in these times. And I want to do a quick lesson on, you know, when things get hard, you know, you're facing different adversities that we have to continue to keep pushing. All right. You don't want to have that spirit of, of fainting, but you want to, you know, strengthen yourselves in the spirit and power you have by Shema Shah so we can endure in these times that's ahead. Because we clearly see that we at the finish line. All right. We at the finish line where the Lord is about to crack them clouds, man, and deliver his, his elect. All right. From the nuclear destruction. Okay. And we're going to join ears with our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, the kingdom of heaven. All right, salvation is near than we believe if we continue to endure and stay fast in the words of the Lord. <clears throat> so I just want to do an exhortation video, you know. So I don't want to write It's edifying. This is Proverbs 24 and verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thou strength is small. All right. If you faint in the day of adversity, that means that your strength is small. And what's our strength? Our faith. Okay? Our faith. And that's what's going to drive us to continue to strive for the kingdom. To believe in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. The faith that was given into the faith that was given to us. Alright? Because we have measures of faith. And as we in this ministry, we have to grow daily. You know, we grow each and every day. And we're building up our most holy faith. And Hamashaki Hawasha. So we want faint in the day of adversity. When things get rough, when brothers going through certain elements, when brothers going through certain difficulties. All right? But we want to continue to have that mindset to continue to endure these things that's going to be thrown at us. As we, you know, be tempted by Satan, you know, we our faith has to overcome and flourish in these times. All right? Our faith have to be higher than, than ever. <clears throat> Just want to pull this up. This is Jonah 2 and verse 7. When my soul fainteth within me, I remember the Lord. That's right, man. When your soul fainteth within me, I remember the Lord. So when you're going through different adver adversities, you know, you're going through different difficulties in your life, you have to also remember the Lord, man. And what the words of the Lord have spoken. Because these are words are comforter. Comforting to our spirit. Comforting to our mind. Comforting to our faith. Alright, so when we go through certain things. And this walk of ours. And you know, brothers be faced with different, you know, obstacles. And you also have to remember the Lord, man. Remember Yahweh Bashim al Shah and what his glorious and his and his his glory is in his mercy and his salvation is about and why are you in this truth to receive salvation and what the Lord have promised us, promises. You know, it says, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came into thee, into thy holy temple. You know, so you know, a prayer praying to Yahweh Shema Shah is one of our main sources, you know, to overcome the things that we're going to be faced with by praying, man, you know, and his prayers are open up unto the righteous and he hears, you know, the Lord see what brothers are going through. The Lord is the one that put brothers through the fire, through the test, all right, to strengthen you. So, you know, you pray for more strength, prepare to be tested on certain levels. You know, you pray for certain things. So prepare yourself so you can have these things that you're praying for and to build yourself up. You know, so you have to always remember the Lord no matter what. Because the Lord said what? In his walk of ours, 
we're going to be faced with adversity. But if we continue to hold our integrity and remain humble, you know, remain in him, that he's going he's gonna to make a way for us. This is Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You see that? So we have to prepare our soul for temptation. It says, set thine heart upright and constantly endure. That's right, man. Have your mind together. All right? Have your mind settled in Yahweh Bashem Shah and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. And that's the main thing, man. Though we face temptation, that's not, you know, the escape route to depart from the Lord, man. No, you have to cleave unto him. To, you have to cleave unto him cleave unto him more all right draw not unto the lord he will draw not unto you cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end see by cleaving unto the lord more and more that's how you're going to be increased in the latter in the latter days and that's what we want to be increased in these last in these last in these last days man all right to have that full assurance of faith you know, so we go through certain things, man. It's not going to be, you know, affecting us as much. You know, because we are building up ourselves, keeping our integrity. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the, fate, in the furnace of adversity. You see that? So you want to be accepted in the, in the eyes of the Lord. You know, when you go through the furnace of adversity, the Lord trying you, we have to what? We have to endure. We have to keep pushing, keep fighting. The scripture speaks about fighting a good fight of faith, man. All right? So you're going to be tried. And the Lord is only purifying us. All right? It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. That's right, man. You know? Believing in the Lord no matter what we go through. Because he's our help. He's our buckler. He's our shield. All right? Continue to keep your integrity. And I'll type in, I want to type in integrity. <clears throat> and I got a few precepts that I want to pull out. This is, um, I will start at Job. 31 and verse 6 let me be weight in an even balance that the most high may know my integrity man it says psalm 7 and verse 8 the lord shall judge the people judge me O lord according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me psalms 25 and verse 21 let integrity and uprightness preserve me for i wait on thee you see Psalms 26 and verse 1, judge me, O Lord, for I walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not.